Once upon a time in the land of Hashabai, around about the wondrous days of yore, they came across a kind of box bound up with chains and locked with locks and labeled, kindly do not touch, it's war. A decree was issued round about and all with a flourish and a shout and a gaily colored mascot tripping lightly on before. Don't fiddle with this deadly box or break the chains or pick the locks. And please don't ever play about with war. The children understood. Children happened to be good. And they were just as good around the time of yore. They didn't try to pick the locks or break into that deadly box. They never played about with war. Mummies didn't either. Sisters, aunts, grannies neither. Because they were quiet and sweet and pretty in those wondrous days of yore. Well, very much the same as now, and not the ones to blame somehow for opening up that deadly box of war. But someone did. Someone battered in the lid, and spilled the insides out across the floor. A kind of bouncy, bumpy ball made up of guns and flags and all the tears and horror and death that comes with war. Well, it bounced right out and went bashing all about bumping into everything in store. And what was sad and most unfair was that it didn't really seem to care much who it bumped or why or what or for. It bumped the children mainly, and I'll tell you this quite plainly. It bumps them every day and more and more and leaves them dead and burned and dying, thousands of them sick and crying. Because when it bumps, it's really very sore. Now there's a way to stop the ball. It isn't difficult at all. All it takes is wisdom. I'm absolutely sure that we could get it back into the box and bind the chains and lock the locks. But no one seems to want to save the children anymore. Well, that's the way it all appears because it's been bouncing around for years and years. In spite of all the wisdom whiz since those wondrous days of yore, and the time they came across the box, bound up with chains and locked with locks, and labeled, kindly do not touch, it's war.